Hey guys, it's Robert from Hobbyman ZXE. Happy New Year's. Probably the last time I will say that. Still January 4th. And my mother's birthday is today, by the way. Um, happy birthday to my mom. And I wanted to say about uh, 101.5 KROX FM Buda Austin moving to Buda. That's right. They're going to go off the 360 Towers, West Lake Hills. I marked out the coverage area a long time ago of uh, Austin Stations. This is Mix 94.7's KAMX coverage area. They have a 1,300 foot tower running 100,000 watts. They can go from Troy all the way down to Weston. And a circle of a projective coverage area. This was written a long time ago before the 101.5 thing. 103.5's tower is in Buda, and they're going to be on the same tower as 103.5 KBPA Bob FM. Now, how far does Bob FM go? Well, pretty often they've been able to make it to Huntsville. That's right. You can hear Bob FM occasionally in Huntsville, Texas. Now, I have heard of some construction permits for LPs on 103.5 in Houston to try to remedy that, unfortunately, because these LPs and translators don't learn their lesson that they don't belong on the air. They're just, all they're doing is blocking the airways. But in any case, if 101.5 moves to, to Buda or Kyle, wherever 103.5's tower is, they would cover San Antonio. Right now, they're really not covering anything. They only can make it roughly from almost to Gerald to almost past San Marcos. Hunter is the next city after San Marcos. That's as far down they probably can go, which is strange for a station licensed to Buda to barely make it into their dbu counter whatever 60 dbu even means so in any case good luck 101.5 move down the dial mix 94 7 as far back as capital fm kapt luling austin was on 1035's tower at one time and okay they flipped to mix 94 7 in 1995 as soft adult contemporary impersonating their sister station Magic 95.5 back when they were good back when Mix and Magic were a great station now uh, then Mix evolved into modern adult contemporary which was a wonderful format in the 90s best station in Austin um, they beat Cage of Fire in the ratings they moved because they People had complaints in downtown Austin that they couldn't be heard in the buildings, despite how good of a tower location they were in Buda. So they moved to the 360 Towers. I'm talking about 94.7 here. Uh, and the people in San Antonio got ticked off. That apparently the station made a better impression in San Antonio than in Austin. Interesting. So, yeah, that's, so if only Mix 947 can move back to Buda, imagine, that would be so wonderful. I wish Mix would move back to Buda, but it looks like 101.5 in Austin is going to sort of reclaim their Giddings license, although they're still going to be licensed to Buda, Austin. They were licensed to uh, Giddings Austin when they were at 101.7 in the beginning. I can't, were there, was there a tower in Giddings? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember if their tower was in Giddings, but I remember they were a brand new station in 1995. That's right. I knew them since 1995, since the beginning. They were once simulcast on 107.7 after KNAC died in 1997.
Yeah, KNAC 1077 from 1990 or 1991, whatever, to 1997. It was a sad day when KNNC 1077 Georgetown Austin sim started to simulcast 1015. Um, but oh well. It all worked out in the end. They're now Moss Body and die. <laughs> Kind of a new take on Rick Quando. <laughs> so, in any case, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.